So we were working with the cadets from the Royal Thai Army Military Academy for about six months on our last rotation, Force Package 23-1. I had a team of two other advisors with me. We spent four months with them at their military academy in Nakhon Nayok, Thailand. And then we spent two months with them in Lopuri at Camp Erawan, working with the cadets and the 3rd Special Forces Regiment, specifically the Ranger Training Team. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Just like that. We think that the air staff is a our family that they they will help help us and teach us the good thing and the better the quick way how to match the Thai way with the American way so we can work together. The cadets are extremely hungry for this win. The tempo and pace that they approached their train up with was extremely impressive. They were working six days a week. PT twice a day, and usually six to eight hours at either classroom or range, working on the different military skills that they would be tested on here at Sandhurst. The reward part is we are not just like an instructor and a, a trainee. We are more than that. We like a family because they not, not just teach and, and go and don't pay attention on us, but they, they care, they care, they, they care so much. So the first thing that we did when we came in to begin the Sanders train up with the cadets at the Royal Military Academy in Thailand was assess where they're at, figure out what their strengths and weaknesses are. Uh, one thing that we learned right away was that the Thai cadets are extremely fast, um, but that they needed some work in the weight room. Uh, so for the physical development program, we focused mostly on uh, rucking with increasing weight rather than increasing speed and working on the three core lifts to help build some strength. It's super fast, there's, there's no time to, to, to think there's no time to wait. Similarly, with their military skills, the Thai cadets are excellent marksmen. Uh, their marksmanship program at the Thai Military Academy and the marksmanship program that they receive from the Special Forces Regiment train-up that they receive in Lopuri is fantastic. That makes them extremely proficient. However, many of the Americanisms, uh, or the U.S. Armyisms, if you'd like to call it, that will be tested in the competition, weren't things that they had experience with. So we had the opportunity to build the interoperability between the SFAB and the 3rd Special Forces Regiment, the CRMA cadre, and the Thai cadets through showing them the American way, having them show us the Thai way, and then figuring out where there's overlap, where there's differences, what things we needed to uh, adjust on either end so they would be able to come here and be tested to the American standard and succeed against the United States Corps of Cadets, the US ROTC teams that are here, and the other countries' military academies who have a long-standing tradition of attending Sanders and already know what the American events to expect. Oh, I got it. 